Hi, um, my name is Giovanni, and I'm the creator of Darkstorm, co-founder of Fenrir Studios, and the lead level designer for Darkstorm. Hi, my name is Robert Smith. I'm one of the lead programmers on Darkstorm, and also a creator of it. I'm also the founder of Fenrir Studios with Giovanni Ortiz. Hello, my name is Joshua Karenka. I'm a concept artist on Project Darkstorm. I joined the team pretty early on, so I've helped in shaping the art and design direction for a while now. The major challenge of the job was taking a vague seed of an idea, slowly shaping it, the game's environment to bring the team's vision to life. So lots of sketching and redrawing and redesigning over the months. Now with a much larger team of artists, we're making much more progress, and the final product is turning out to be much more polished and well designed. Robert Smith told me, he, I asked him like, what do you want her to look like? And he just gave me, he's like, make her look like this. And he gave me a, a digital painting, and I had never seen this character before. And she and it has the same hairstyle and same kind of face. And it was a picture of uh, Fiora from League of Legends. Many of you guys have ever played that game. So Fiora was pretty much the, the basis and the inspiration for the look of Amber. So much so that I hope that if the game does well enough that we'll be able to... Uh, do something with Riot and maybe get a, an amber skin made for Fiora for any people who like that game out there. That'd be really cool. I would really dig it because I actually play the character. Keep generating interest in the game and the universe. If you haven't listened to any dramas, we're still making more of those. It's been a while since we've updated one, but we're going to put another one out. And yeah, and there she is all together. I wasn't able to finish because this new software wasn't what I would hope to be, but. Yep, there she is. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hi, it's Robert again. On occasion from time to time, I also oversee animation with Joa, and we basically set the bench line for what we expect. I'm actually in charge of the characters' rigs, and I help the animators with eventually rig problems and improvements that they need so that they can animate easier and faster. The animation team counts now with seven people, and they are very dedicated and highly motivated. We have almost finished the basic game movements as shooting, crouching, running. And now, most of the team are working on the cutscenes. I'm here, Jill. And some of those are getting incredible. It's so cool to see the amazing characters and weapons that modeling department had produced to get alive by the hands of these talented animators. We all hope that pretty soon, you guys that support Darkstorm can see that too. What's going on here? What's with the lights? This transmission has ended. Hey guys, uh, hope you're enjoying this video here us at Fenrir Studios have made for you. I'm David, I'm the programmer here specializing in the hard code aspects of the engine. Uh, right now what I'm working on for you guys is toggling our crouch system so that when you don't have to hold control and Z to prone, you know who to thank. Uh, we're really excited about this project, I'm really excited about this project, and we're, we hope to get it out as soon as possible for you guys. This team's completely dedicated, and we can't wait to release it. Hi guys, my name is Sunny, and I'm a level designer for Fenrir Studios, and I'm responsible for building a certain area within Darkstorm. A little background on me is that I was fortunate enough to work on Mass Effect 3 while working as QA at Bioware, and my experience there has really opened up my eyes on how video games are created, especially the progress of levels. With that said, I want to bring in the same type of process I experienced while working on Mass Effect 3 onto Darkstorm. So as I first started on Darkstorm, the section I was responsible for was already underway, models and meshes were placed and there were a few textures made here and there. But there were some fundamental architectural aspects that weren't being respected, so I began trying to rectify these issues first. Things like reducing very very long hallways, reducing repetitiveness of aesthetics, uh, reducing the claustrophobic sense by increasing within height of hallways and rooms, and just adding more pathways. In general, what I was trying to do is trying to make the area around the player more believable by making it relative to the human scale. 
I'm in the process of overhauling the aesthetics of the level, as the original art was a little bland and boring. So what that means is, I'm collaborating with the concept artists and modelers to ensure parts within the concept art are transitioned into models and that models are transitioned into the game, and then I would use those models to build the world for the player. With the screenshots you see of the game, you may notice that it's just using one source of lighting. Eventually, when all required models uh, are made and textured, lighting will essentially be the last piece of the puzzle and will significantly bump up the quality of how the levels will look. So that's the gist of what I've done and what I'm doing now. Hope you guys look forward to seeing what the levels uh, will look like in the future when it's all polished up. And thanks for tuning in. Darkstorm has been, you know, pretty much in production for a while now. Uh, the idea for Darkstorm has been around for a few years, but when we actually started creating it, you know, we started last year, but there was time, you know, time issues with all of us where we couldn't fully commit to the project, so we, you know, scrapped it. Then we decided earlier this year, January, we decided, you know, we want to start this up again. We started, you know, getting a lot done, but the thing is, it wasn't going out as a the pace like we wanted it, you know, because since we're such a small team, there was only so much we can do, and there really wasn't much progress. Driving to work with this team, you know, for pretty much a year now, I feel like it's an honor, you know, working with these guys. Every single person on this team is very talented. You know, sometimes I question how the hell did we even get so lucky to have, you know, really good people like these guys are. So I'm really proud of these guys working very hard every day. So good job, everyone. Hey, it's Robert again. Before we send this video off, I would like to thank everyone in the community and Kickstarter, everyone that's been supporting us over the years. And um, I hope that we, uh, are, what we've shown today is exactly what you're expecting in terms of quality. Um, we have not forgotten about the Kickstarter donators and the people on PayPal that have donated. And from their donations, we are actually planning on implementing a weapons armory. Um, which the the uh, head scientist that will be in charge of that section will be voiced by uh, Miss Danielle, which you'll know her as Karma from League of Legends. And that room will be accessible by everyone that buys the game, but obviously certain weapons will be restricted to a code that Kickstarter donators and the PayPal donators will only have access to. Unless they give them out, then that's on them. Anyway, um, thank you for watching.